Encephalon means brain, and pathy refers to suffering or disease. In medicine, the term encephalopathy refers to brain damage or disease. It occurs when a change in the way your brain functions or a change in your body has an impact on your brain. These alterations result in a shift in your mental state, leaving you perplexed and responding differently than usual. Encephalopathy is a collection of illnesses caused by a variety of factors. It's a serious medical condition that, if left untreated, can result in temporary or permanent brain damage. Encephalopathy and encephalitis are frequently confused. Although the terms sound alike, they refer to two distinct situations. The brain is swollen or inflamed when you have encephalitis. Encephalopathy, on the other hand, is a mental state that can develop as a result of a variety of medical conditions. But remember, encephalopathy can be caused by encephalitis. Now, let's have a look at types of encephalopathy. There are mainly two types of encephalopathies, reversible and irreversible. Reversible includes hepatic encephalopathy, metabolic encephalopathy, Hashimoto's encephalopathy, and septic encephalopathy. There are also certain factors that can lead to reversible encephalopathy, includes brain tumors, long-term exposure to toxins and non-convulsive status epilepticus. Whereas, irreversible includes chronic traumatic enceph and hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Let's look at the clinical presentation of patient with NKF. An altered mental state is the predominant symptom of encephalopathy. Here are several examples. Finding it difficult to stay awake. Having difficulty comprehending or processing information, forgetting things, acting out of character, finding it difficult to focus, and being extremely exhausted. Over time, these symptoms may worsen. The course of the encephalopathy is determined by the kind and severity of the disease. Let's understand how to diagnose patient with encephalopathy. If someone has encephalopathy symptoms, they should consult a doctor right away. The doctor may employ the following methods to rule out diagnosis. Blood tests, a spinal fluid examination, imaging procedures such as MRI or CT scans, and electroencephalograms, a way of monitoring the electrical activity of the brain, are also options. The results of these tests will assist the doctor in determining what form of encephalopathy a person has and what the underlying reason is if they have encephalopathy. Serum ammonia test may be ordered when you experience signs and symptoms of an elevated ammonia level, such as mental changes, disorientation, sleepiness, and an altered sensorium. Hence it is important marker to rule out hepatic encephalopathy in prognosis of patient, as high ammonia may lead to seizure, coma, and even death of patients. Let's have a look at treatment options for NKF patients. The treatment you require is determined by the cause of your encephalopathy. Your doctor might suggest medications that lower ammonia levels or stop seizures. Stopping a drug that you've been taking for a long time. Changing your eating habits and supplements for nutrition. If your illness is caused by liver or kidney difficulties, you may need dialysis or an organ transplant. In this video series, we will look at each of the encephalopathies along with their diagnosis and clinical approach. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us. Thank you.